All right, so I'm going to try this, and uh, hopefully y'all watch carefully. Is this the same? This is the same circuit, isn't it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so this, and we're going to calculate uh, I naught. Okay, and what is I naught? I naught is the current through the other one. Okay, so I need to be careful that I don't transform uh, anything that's over on this side uh, because I don't want to transform anything that I'm trying to measure. But I can transform the other stuff. And so, for instance, I can transform um, a voltage source and a resistor in, in series to a current source and a resistor in parallel. So uh, I'm going to do that. Not sure where I'm going with this, though. Let's see. So this remains 5 ohms. And this becomes 50 divided by 5. This becomes 10 amps. Okay, so we've got but then I'm not at all sure why we would do a source transformation. source well you can only turn uh, you if you have a current source and but I think I see no I don't you can only turn if you have a current source and a resistor in parallel then you can turn that into a voltage source and a resistor in series I don't know what to do with a current source and um, a resistor in in series. So let's see if we had this is all all at the same voltage. We make this ground. Then and that V then I would have, oh yeah, I tried to do this earlier with another problem. Okay, so, um, so this is, I'm going to make this V, and I would have V over 10 minus J15.9, and that's this current. And then this current is minus 2 plus V over 5. And then minus 10 equals 0. So V over 10 minus J15.9 plus V over 5 equals 12. So then 1 over 10 minus J 15.9 V plus 1 over 5 V equals 12. And that's 0.0283. And it was doing the problem this way that got me the uh, same answer as I got a minute ago, so I think this is right. Plus J.0451 V plus 0.2 V equals 12. So I'll add 0.2 to that, and I get... Point 
2283 plus J.0451 V equals 12. Or V equals 50.58 minus 9.98 3 J. So that is the voltage up there. So then the current uh, V equals IZ, or I equals V over Z, or I equals 50.58 minus J 9.983 over 10 minus J There we go. 2.7 angle 46. So ignore the magic that I tried to do at the beginning. I thought it was very clever, but it was just wrong. And so instead, the, the way I did it the second part uh, is correct. Can you scroll up a little? Yes. Uh, where do you want me to be? Um, a little further down. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I am going to have to go because I actually have to get back to campus um, uh, are there any last questions and if you have any more feel free to send them to me tonight I can't guarantee that I I get up real early so I'd probably answer it really early in the morning I can't guarantee that I would get to it tonight Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Really quick question. How'd you plug that into your calculator using variables? Uh, okay, so they're not variables. They're it, J is a uh, is a constant. So I know J is the constant. Are, were you plugging in like an X or something for V, or were you just were you just doing that in your head, or carrying over the V? I did that in my head. Are you talking about Are you talking about right here? I can't see the screen anymore. Oh but right, I let me all written out. let me share the screen. Uh, underlined yeah so what I did was yeah so this was this was I should have I should have been talked about what I did so I got to this step right here mm -hmm. and I needed to solve for V so essentially what I did was I factored a V out and then I'm left with 1 over 10 minus J 15.9 plus 1 over 5 equals 12 and then this part is just a number. And, and then you divide it. Yeah, and, I see it. And I then, gotcha. yeah, so that's what I did. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah. No Thank problem. You so much. You're welcome. Have All a right. good rest of your day. Okay, you too. Bye-bye.